and welcome back to another video where I explore uh, the USS Enterprise D virtually of course unfortunately using the wonderful software called Stage 9 in its version 0010. This video will be where I left off last time which means Deck 12 Sigbay and the holodex. So there is a special little surprise, uh, meaning that I'm not going to visit only this enterprise in this video. But come on. Finally. Wow, what's that strange texture? I'm not sure if that's some kind of glitch or if that's the part of the texture. The thing which looks like a white scratch. Huh, but it looks like it's on all of the panels. Interesting. I don't really understand why is it there, but it looks like it's deliberate. Now, Deck 12 has very confined corridors <laughs> and a bunch of jumping NPCs. Oh, the NX has nothing there. I think that the only thing which is modeled here is the sick bay, unless they added something. No, they didn't. Ah, this is the strange thing. I think that this should be one door. But for some reason it's not connected. Whatever, let's go to the sick bay. And we have some patients here. These things, which I have no clue what they are, but they always used to be on the sick bay. And we have some interactive tools. Can I scan you, madam? Hmm, funny. Yes, that's nice. That was a nice effect, how the thing closes on its other, on itself, and... Hmm, what is this? Oh, it's a hypospray or something. What is this? <laughs> Okay, I did not expect that I can drag random women. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, no witnesses, fine. I hope a certain lady named Anita won't see this game. Because if she finds out that you can drag up women here... You can shoot a guy, that's also interesting. Why is there a phaser on sick bay and she looks like she's possessed and she needs an exorcist or something? Uh, okay, let's get out of here. Can I do something with this patient who's lying down? Where is the... Ah, here it is. Can I do something with you? Uh, it doesn't look like I can do anything to him. Nah. I mean, I'm not a sadist or anything like that. <laughs> Even though you might not believe it based on these videos. Hey, why is that red alert? Looks like somebody was shooting here. Okay, let's get out of here. Turbo lift. Okay, quickly let's get to the holodex. That will be the more pleasant thing which I am really looking forward to. Because I know that since the last version they have added... They have added some programs to the holodex and I really want to try them out okay so this is the empty room the empty holodeck <laughs> I 
it's fun just jumping around. <laughs> but okay, let's do something. Can I do something here? No, I can't touch anything or push anything, so let's do it the proper way. Here you have existing holodeck programs. So yes, they moved the alternate Program. bridges, which were originally accessible only from the menu, they moved them here. And this is it. Wow, what was that? Uh, that was slightly confusing, but okay. Okay, so the age button hides the door. And wow, I can sit here. I absolutely love this design. This is probably... I can't decide if I love more the original Enterprise or the Enterprise D, but why I can't sit down? I want to sit in Kirk's chair, but I can't for whatever reason. And I can I can sit in Sulu's chair and in Chekhov's chair, but I can't sit in Kirk's chair. Why? Come on, I want to be the captain. Uh, I cannot sit there. That's that sucks. Oh, I have no clue what have I done. <laughs> But somehow I managed to sit down. Huh. So it looks like you have to click a very specific part of it. But you can sit down here without any problem. This is interesting. The view screen. The beautiful, beautiful view screen. Oh god, I love this 60s design. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just love the 60s Enterprise. It's one of the reasons why I'm pissed at the changes done by Discovery. There is something so retro. At the same time, pretty cool. Can I read this? Yes, I can read it. I can't touch the pad and pick it up, but I can read it if I turn around properly. And the turbo lift, and... Huh, the door doesn't open, but the turbo lift chamber is modeled. So that's pretty strange. Why is the turbo lift chamber modeled if you can't go in I don't get it but okay whatever can I go from the other side through the door oh looks like I can't but thankfully we have the emergency transport So that was uh, Captain Kirk's Enterprise Bridge, yes. So let's quickly check all the other. Program complete. Main bridge, I think this is the Season 1 bridge of the Enterprise D. Yes, this is the Season 1 bridge. You can see the panels on the side. They were changed for Season 2. And the interesting thing is that even on the virtual Enterprise you still have this red alert. That's very interesting. And you actually can see the same station which you can see from the real bridge. Hmm. Very interesting indeed. What are these slices? I don't remember seeing them in version 9. Can I push something? So now it looks like only on the real bridge you can push things. 
so no doors are functioning. Hmm. Aha, so it looks like only the bridge is the only thing which is modeled. Okay, that's the season one bridge. No, 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 no. What's this? Ah, yesterday's Enterprise. Program complete. Enter when ready. This is the famous episode with the Enterprise C. Come on, open. Okay. And you can see even Captain Picard. What is he doing with his legs? It's funny that every one of the bridges can see what you can see from the real bridge. Now I might do one day a video comparing every version of the USS Enterprise D bridge and I might actually use this so yeah this is pretty useful for me to see all of the bridges modeled like this great work guys and lady if I remember correctly there is one female member of the team So what's next? Uh, all good things. Oh yes, they had also done some changes for the alternate future version of the Enterprise. Yes, this is it. And it's interesting that you have NPCs on the yesterday's Enterprise version, but nowhere else. Hmm. Isn't it great that we live in a time where you can walk on the bridge of the Enterprise and absolutely for free in a very realistic way? Okay, what is here yet? Ah, Generations, yes, they did some changes for Generations. So yeah, there they added these strange stairs. And they also added these side panels, side computers. Ah, oh, finally a chair! <laughs> wow, you can sit in it, that's nice. Okay, this is really cool. I honestly can't wait till the next version and to see what else will they add to the holodex because from what I heard from the official videos, they plan to do basically every possible scenario. And uh, you have multiple holodecks, so in theory you could use every holodeck for displaying a different bridge. Which I probably will try right now. But as I'm looking at the clock, I think it's... Yeah, I think I will end the video here. So, thanks to everybody who managed to watch this till the end. If you like this video, please hit that thumbs up button and feel free to watch any of the other videos you can see on my channel and see you very soon. Bye.